In this lesson, we're going to look at how to edit your profile, which you may want to do from time to time. Now, on your profile page, make sure that profile is selected in this first row, and that will make these visible, these three options down here, view, edit, or change profile photo. We're going to go to edit, and the first field is your name. That's required and it can be seen by all members. This isn't something you can hide or select who sees it. So if you have second thoughts, maybe you think, ah, maybe I'll just go by my first name, you're welcome to, to change your name. So I'm going to change that to just Louisa. Now we also ask, are you a mother, father, stepmother, stepfather? Every single one of these questions that we ask, you can choose the visibility. Who can see it? Now, if you select everyone, that doesn't mean everyone on the internet. It just means everyone on this website, which is basically the same as saying all members. Only me will keep the information totally private to you. Or you could select your friends. You do have the ability to make friends here on the site, and you can select this if you want only the people you choose as friends to be able to see this information. I'm going to leave this at all members for now, but you can see that every question has that choice. I live in, and here's a list of countries, um, so you want to select one of those. You can put your city, your state, if you live in France you would put Paris for the city and France under state or province. This is, the next thing is a very, in broad strokes, what your situation is. Anywhere from newly estranged for less than a year to mostly reconciled. Um, and then a little bit about you. This is a place to let other members get to know something about you. It's okay to put a little bit about your family, but uh, do tell us something about your your interests, your thoughts, maybe how you spend your time, uh, something, something to help us get to know you a little bit. You, if you have a website, you're welcome to share it with other members. That's where you would put this. And we ask for your birthday month and your birthday day. If you make any changes, always remember to save changes at the very, very bottom. Now let's go over and view the profile, and you'll notice that many of your answers here are actually links. They're clickable. And this is the reason why a lot of your answers, if, you, if you're comfortable, should be visible to all members, because if you click on one of these links, you can see all of the people on the site who identify as a mother, in that case. I'm just going to hit the back button. Or if you want to see everybody who lives in the United States, and you click on this, you will see everybody who lives in the United States who has made that visible to other members. You, can, you also might want to know who else has a birthday in November. Oh, look, John has a birthday in November. And John happens to be one of your friends. So that's a really neat way of getting to know who's out there and a little bit about them. You might want to find someone else in your city or your state. But again, it's up to you, the level of privacy that you're looking for. You don't have to make any of these things public. If you're not comfortable with it, you can keep it to just only you or just your friends. And you can also change that privacy level whenever you like. So that is how to edit your profile.